Today we're going to learn how to create a weather forecast template in Adobe Premiere Pro. The first thing that I need you to do for this assignment is I need you to create a folder on your desktop um, titled weather forecast. So you're going to right click on your mouse and select new folder. If this window doesn't appear when you right click then you need to hold down your control key on your keyboard and then click your mouse and this window will pop up. Once you click new folder I'm going to have you rename this folder. Right click again and click rename. It should turn light blue. Type in weather forecast. Double click and open the um, window, your folder, file folder. And then I need you to go to your Google Chrome and maneuver to your drive. In your drive, I need you to find your video class folder. Click on that folder. And at the top of the list, I put another folder titled Weather Forecast. Double click to open, and there should be seven files in this folder. It's you should have a seven day outlook, daily forecast, weather forecast, weather background, and weather icons. Click on the top, hold down your shift key, select the bottom, and all five files will be selected. Right click, and then click download. Again, if your right click is not enabled, you will not, you'll have to hold down the control key. It's zipping the five files and downloading them. Once the download is complete, it, you'll get a notification down here in your status bar telling you that your file has been downloaded. The length that it's going to take you to download would be determined by your network speed. Mine has downloaded. So I double click on that icon and it opens up the folder where those five files are. I'm going to click on the top one, hold down my shift key, click on the bottom and move them over here to this folder that I created on my desktop. Now I can close this window. I'll minimize this one, my Google Chrome, here in this folder on the desktop. You see I have one file titled Weather Forecast. It's the Premiere Pro project file. You will double click on it. I'm going to have to do it a different way because I have two versions of Premiere on my desktop and I'm going to use the same one that you have installed on your classroom computers, the 2015. So I double click and you notice that Premiere Pro opens. Once the file is open, you will see six video tracks with information on them. Video 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. All of these make up this one screen. So what we're going to have to do is I'm going to show you what each of these files do. So I'm going to turn them off one at a time so you can see what's on each layer. Video 1 is my weather background. Video 2 are the seven panels for the seven day forecast. Video 3 is the title bar which says seven day outlook. And then on that same title bar, we can change and manipulate the city and the state and the news network, which we'll do later. That on um, video five, you see I've done the first one. I have Tuesday, my high temps for today is 71, my low is 66. And you notice that on the white, the text is black. On the blue, the text is white. Then on the top layer, I have the icon depicting the weather forecast for today. It's partly sunny with rain. So the first thing that we're going to do here is we're going to um, personalize or customize the city state and network name so we're going to double click on the location and then we're going to change it to Hampton Virginia the news network for the news network name I want you to type in phantom news when you finish close it and you notice it changes up here on our um, timeline. The next thing that we have to do is we have to um, assign the day and give the high and low temperature. Before we can do that we need some information. So we come up here and go to a new tab and I'm going to type in wavy 10 weather. Once I get that I'll select the first one and the first one will come up and give me my seven day forecast. So you see today's high is 71, low 66. Then for when, tomorrow Wednesday, the high is 74 and the low is 62. So I'm going to shrink this, I'll minimize this. So I click on the, the day and I'm going to change. I need to add a Wednesday here. So I'm going to select my title tool 
and I'm going to add a title. And I think there's one already here. So I'm going to come over here. Yep, I already have one. So I'm going to double click. I need a center justified. I need Tahoma bold. And I need a 75 font size. So I'm going to type in in all caps, Wednesday, W-E-D. Every day of the week has a three or four digit abbreviation. So this is higher than Tuesday. So I need to kind of center it and make it about the same place that my Tuesday is. Perfect. Now I need to do the high and the low. Now referring back, my high is 74, my low is 62. So I'm gonna come up here and select the text box. 74 is what I'm gonna type in here. I want it centered. My font is black and it's showing it as black. So I'm gonna type in 74. Well, this 74 is a lot smaller than this one. It uses the last font size you had. So I need to click in here. This font size is 98. So I need to select this box and make this 98. I can either go through and manually adjust it or I can just adjust it by typing it in. Then I need to move it down to approximately the same location as the previous one. Now I need to do the repeat this process for the low. And the low was 61, I believe. And you notice that I'm having an issue because my previous one is in the same space and trying to put the new one. So I'm going to come down here and create a new box. Here, and it was 64, I believe. But this 64 is black. So I need to change it to white. So I come over here and select white is the bottom left. And all the RGBs go to 255. And it changes it automatically. Now I need to... Um, I need to resize it. Or move it over here. Into the center. And now I need... And I'll close this out. Now you see I have 74, 64 here. Now I need, all I need to do is add a graphic. Well you notice that this is weather icon. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to come over here to my um, images and I see weather icons. When I double click on it, the icon, you see these are all the icons for the weather. Tomorrow's forecast is forecasted to be partly sunny. So I need to find that same graphic or a similar one. So that would be this one right here, partly sunny. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this over by the icon onto the timeline. To my video track and you see it is too big for the track so selecting that I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna put set to frame size and you see it resizes the next thing I have to do is I need to crop because I only need this icon I don't need all of these so I'm gonna come over here into my effects tab and then here where the search one is I'm gonna type crop you see it appears I select it, I'm going to drag it to that track. Once I have that done, then I'm going to, um, I need to crop my image. So I'm going to have to come up here to go to Effect Controls. And up here you see my crop window open, left, right, top, and bottom. So I'm going to need to crop my left, and I can drag, and you see it moves over to the left. I need to crop the top till it comes down right above it. I need to crop the right till I get right to the edge where it starts to clip it. And then the bottom, bring it up. And the reason I had to do the left, the top and the right is because I had a graph, it has a, a watermark over here. So now to move it, I have to come up here and select move, motion and you see the it has the whole bar there. I mean, all the images, but you can't, just can't see it because I cropped them out. I'm just going to move this over here to about the same position as the one next to it. And then I'm done. So now I have the weather forecast for Tuesday and Wednesday. Now to create more, you're going to run into a problem because you see my video track stop here. But for every day, I need to add another track for the weather icon. So I need one, two, three, four, five more tracks. 
So to do that, I'm going to go in this space above it. I'm going to right click. And I'm going to say add tracks. And I need to add five video tracks. And I want them to come after video seven. So I hit OK. Now I see all the tracks here. And I can move my mouse to move it up and down. Thursday will come here. Friday. Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So I have enough tracks to complete the rest. You're going to repeat the same process and add the high and the low for when Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday and find the graphic for each of those days. Once you've completed all of this, then you're going to have to export your file. Now, one thing, you're going to come up here, File, Export, and you're going to go Media. Sometimes you may have moved your mouse around to where it's in a different location. So now if I go File, Export, you see media is unselected. Your timeline must be selected because it's asking you what do you want to export. So you want to export this timeline. So you're going to go File, Export, Media. And when the window pops up for your selections, you're going to want to make sure you select H.264. The wording in blue is your file name. So what I need you to do is to double click on it and it's going to open up the location. All this is doing is setting the location where you're going to put your file. It should default to this weather forecast folder because that's where you pulled your files from. So you're going to rename this file first initial last name underscore weather forecast. And then hit save. All this does is save your information. It tells the computer where you want this file saved, and you hit export. Once your file is exported, you can close out your file. It's going to ask you, do you want to save? You can say yes to save your changes. And you see here, I have my weather forecast. Now I'm going to go back to my Google Chrome to go back to my class folder. And in this folder, I'm going to take my forecast and I'm going to drag it up here and upload it. And then your assignment is complete. Now I can see that my file is here and ready to be viewed.